Nepal had a civil war from 1996 to 2006 and there were many kinds of very serious human rights abuses committed during that time by both sides, by the government side as well as by the insurgent Maoist rebel side. We have now gone and documented crimes of sexual violence, including rape, um, that occurred during that time, again committed by both sides. there are a number of reasons for why the crimes were not reported at that time. In Nepal, as in many other countries, sexual violence, rape, is carries a tremendous stigma and shame. Women are generally very afraid to come out and speak about it. Secondly, a lot of the perpetrators, whether they were government side or Maoist side, were often the people who you would report the crimes to. There is, thirdly, in Nepal, a 35-day limitation on reporting crimes of sexual violence, otherwise you are barred from reporting it. In 2006, the government and the rebels sat down and signed the Comprehensive Peace Agreement. Among the various promises made in that agreement was the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission and a promise from all sides that justice and accountability for war crimes would be had. That promise remains unfulfilled. The government also agreed to compensate victims of the conflict. Unfortunately, they left out as victims of sexual violence or victims of torture. अहिले सम्म पनि द्वन्द्वकालको मुद्दाहरु कहीं दर्ता हुन सकिरहेको छैन त्यहाँ एउटा कमजोरी छ र तत्काल चाहिँ यो संक्रमणकालीन न्याय व्यवस्थापनका लागि जुन आयोग गठन भएको छ त्यसको गठन हुनु पर्यो कारबाही प्रक्रियाहरु अगाडि बढाइन पर्यो र द्वन्द्वकालका पीडितहरुले तत्काल न्याय पाउने राहत पाउने कुराहरुमा राज्यले विशेष चासुका साथको कामहरु गर्नुपर्यो एभ्री सिंगल विक्टिम दट वी मेट विथ इज इन्जर्ड बोथ फिजिकली एन्ड साइकोलोजिकली दे आर सफरिंग in a way that is unimaginable. There are tremendous grievances and a sense that the government has really let them down, a sense that there is no support for them and a sense that no one cares.